Bora, Zu. Hi guys, so that was me playing through House of the Rising Sun. So this is a song that I teach quite early on um, to my students. So the main reason I'm putting up this video is for those students. So, so if anyone else who's not one of my private students is seeing this, hopefully you'll find this useful as well. So what I just played, as I say, was me playing through it. That's your kind of target with the picking pattern. What I'll do is I will go through it in the most simple way that I teach my students. And I will also mention the couple of little extra bits and bats you can do to make it more accurate and more like the animals version whilst keeping the main thrust on a simplified version for my private students so if you're not one of my private students as I said and you're watching this you can obviously do it both ways but if you are one of my private students the tab that I give you will be that kind of simplified version which will be the main thing that I will go through so anyway it's still going to be a lesson on the song it's a great song and hopefully everyone will find this useful and it'll be a song that you'll be able to play so let's crack on with it basically this song has three chord sequences that are played over and over and over and the clip earlier was me playing through those three chord sequences in a row so let's go through those three chord sequences and then we'll go through the picking pattern okay so pens and papers at the ready first chord a minor second chord c then we're going to go to d this is the chord that's going to be slightly different. Um, I played it as an F, where I barred those first two, um, barred those first two strings there, the E and the B string, and then second fret on the G, and then third fret on the D. But when I teach it, I don't teach it with a bar. I teach it as an F major seven. So if you can't do the bar, you can do the simplified version of an F, which is open E string, first fret B, second fret on the G, and then third fret on the D. Yes, it slightly changes the tone, the feel of that chord, but it still works as a sequence and it's a much simpler way of doing this F chord. As I say, that's how I teach this song because I want this song to be simple. So that's the chord there. Then we're going to play A minor. That's the first five chords of the song. Every single one of the three sequences starts with those five chords. So first time, which I like to call the intro, it's also the section we play between each verse. Then we'd go E, A minor, E. So then the actual verse would go A minor, C, D, F, whichever F you prefer, A minor, then it will go to C, and then two bars of E. And then the second part of the verse would go A minor, C, D, F, whichever F you prefer, A minor, and then just E once. And then you'd start back with that first chord sequence, and you'd literally just cycle through those chord sequences for most of the song. The outro is slightly different, but we will get there. So... Those are our three chord sequences. Now let's go through the picking pattern. So the way I'm gonna do this is effectively, I'm going to pick um, seven notes. I'm gonna pick the A string for this A minor chord. Then I'm gonna pick the D, the G, and the B pretty quickly. Then I'm gonna pick E, B, G up. Like that, okay? Okay, now that is basically, that's the basis of almost every chord we're going to do. Um, the picking pattern for the C chord is exactly the same as that. Okay, so what you're going to have now is a clip of my right hand just so you can see that bit. do is when you're playing that first fret B string on your way down is also play the open E at the same time to get this sound before going back up and that's about slightly might be what he's doing in the track so that's another thing you can do to make it sound more accurate but we'll move on 
Next two chords, D and F, are going to have the same picking pattern. So what I'm going to do with the D is I'm going to pick open D string. Then I'm going to pick the next three quickly, which is G, B and E. Then I'm going to pick opposite to that, E, B, G, up slowly. I'm going to do then the same for the F. I'm going to do this with the bar there. Okay, without the bar it sounds like this. But the picking pattern is the same. So basically it's the same idea as we just did, but everything's moved down the string. Okay, and there's only actually one more chord to do, which is the E major chord. Now there's a couple of different ways I've seen this tab, but this is, this is I think, the right way to do it. I'm going to go E, then I'm going to go A, D and G quickly. And then I'm going to pick up from the E string, E, B, G. Sometimes I would actually go from the B string, but I think actually in the track listening to it, the Animals version, it does go E, B, G. Like that, so it'd be... Like that. Those are all of the chords that we're going to do with the picking pattern, okay? So relatively simple. All we're going to do is plug that in to the chord sequences that we went through earlier. So the video went me playing it, little intro, then I went through the chord sequences. Now I've gone through the picking pattern. So you can go back now to the beginning of this video uh, and, and see me basically playing through those chord sequences with that picking pattern, okay? And that is basically it in terms of the picking pattern and this song, okay? So hopefully that will help you guys practice it. So what we're gonna do for now is we're gonna talk about the strumming pattern and then we're gonna go through the structure of the song. So next clip will then be me playing this, those three sequences through again, but with the strumming pattern, okay? And then we'll talk about the strumming pattern. Okay, see you in a sec. Well, different angle here, back to this position, but I'm actually going to teach the strumming pattern from this position because we know what the left hand's doing, we've already gone through the chords, so hopefully you'll find it more useful to be able to see the strumming pattern. Effectively, this song is in 6-8, so you count the rhythm 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3. And effectively, it's in two lots of three, two triplets, the rhythm. So when I first learned it, I learned it as six down strums, and actually... That works, especially if you're a beginner. It will be nice and simple with those six down strums. So it'd be down, 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 down. And the rhythm we're trying to think is if you say in your head triple it, that will get you a rhythm. So if I tap that, it'll be triple it, triple it. Say it slowly, triple it, okay? That's what we're looking for, so let's play that. So that's me just going through the intro sequence with that very basic strumming pattern. And if that is what kind of level you're at, and if that's the way I've taught it to you, or if that's the level you feel like you are, then just do it like that, basically. And you can go through those three chord sequences as we've discussed, and play through the song with that strumming pattern. That's how I first learned it, with not even with the picking, literally just the, that six down strum strumming. Okay, for those who are a little bit more confident, a little bit more advanced, or just want to make their lives more difficult, or want to be more accurate, let's do the actual strumming pattern that he does in the song. Basically, it's very similar to that. We're just going to throw in an up strum. So the rhythm of the strumming is going to be the same as the rhythm of the picking, which is effectively where we've got one longer note, three quicker notes, and then those three longer notes. So effectively, that means we're going to go down, down, up, down, 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 down. 
So as you can see, it's just literally one up strum difference, okay? Down, down, up, down, 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 down. That is the actual rhythm of the song. Down, down, up, down, 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 down. So it's a bit faster there. I can slow it down, 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 up, down, 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 down. So let me quickly play through again that intro sequence with that rhythm. I'll start slow and get faster. Okay, and so those are the two strumming patterns that we can do. Um, for the rest of the song, I will just mention basically the down, down, up, down, 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 down. So when I'm doing an example, it, you'll just see that. And that's the rhythm I was doing at the start of the song as well. But feel free to do that simplified version if you find the other one too difficult, because it will still work as a song, okay? So work through both, try both, see which works for you. So next you'll see me go through the structure of the song basically, um, so that you can play it and sing it and have a lot of fun with it. So, okay, welcome back to this view. So basically that was me going through the strumming pattern. The three sequences stay the same. So let's go through the structure of the song and then we'll throw on the outro and then we'll do the outro of the video. But um, So, intro sequence first which is the one at the end goes A minor E, A minor E. Then we've got verse one, and we're gonna go, obviously, the two verse sequences in a row. So the first one would do the five chords normal, as the same as before, and then C, two bars of E, and the second one just goes E. Okay, so that's our sequence. Intro, verse sequence, verse sequence. We are gonna do that picked. We are then going to do that again, picked for verse two, which is the, uh, my mother was a tailor. And we're gonna do it again, picked, for verse three, which is the third verse, the only thing a gambler needs. So that's basically three times through those three chord sequences. Then I'm gonna do it picked, so I'm gonna do the picking section over that intro, but then when I go back to the verse, I'm gonna strum it, and I'm gonna strum through both of those verse sequences and the next intro sequence, and that, is the organ solo in the track. Then when verse four kicks in, which is gonna be the first verse chord sequence, I'm gonna go back and pick it again, and that's, uh, that is the um, Oh Mother Tell Your Children, that's picked. Pick the verse, and then I'm gonna pick the next intro, and then for verse five, I'm gonna start strumming. So that's gonna be the first verse sequence again, it's gonna to go to strumming, and that's, oh, well I got one foot on the platform, I'm gonna strum through that, strum through the in, uh, that intro sequence again in between, and then I'm gonna repeat the first verse again as a sixth verse, and do that strummed, okay? That's the sequence from the animals version. Because And then they tackle the outro, which we will do in a second. That is the sequence from the animals version. Effectively, we are playing through the sequence where we go intro and the intro chord sequence and then the two verse chord sequences, we are doing for a whole six verses. Just all the way through that. In terms of when we strum a pick, obviously that's what I've just gone through, but feel free to change it and do what you like. You should be able to do what you want, but as I went through just now, that's how the animals do it, as I said. But if you want to strum it all, pick it all, go between the two randomly, you feel free and you knock yourself out because it's an awesome uh, song to play and sing along to. And my five month old loves it when I sing it and play it along with to him, so that's, that's great as well. So that's the um, structure of the song. Hopefully that makes some semblance of sense. And then we're gonna do the outro soon. Okay, so that was the outro. A little bit messy, um, but hopefully it makes sense. So for the first few chords, we're gonna do the same rhythm as we did before, okay? So that was down, down, up, down, 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 down. And that's gonna be for the, that's gonna be an A minor, C, D, F, A minor, E, 
all of those chords with that sequence. Then I'm going to start flicking between A minor and D minor. And the rhythm for those is going to be down, pause, down, down, down. So I'm going to, that's basically all I'm doing is I'm playing the first strum in that previous sequence. And then I'm playing the final three and I'm missing out those three in the middle. And that is all the outro is. And they effectively do that five times. Okay, I don't know how many I did when I covered it because I wasn't really concentrating on counting, which I should have been because I'm a guitar teacher. But anyway, I didn't. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, five times is actually how they do it in the track and they round at the end, which basically means it's the snazzy way of saying they start slowing down and then they do a really big slow down and then a big final A minor chord, okay? So that's all it is for the outro. D minor chord there is the chord that um, I uh, often don't teach until this song. So it's a really, really great one because I get to throw that D minor in with a nice simple chord sequence at the end of the song. As I say, down, 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 down. That's literally all I'm doing is down, 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 down. So we'll have a quick clip of my right hand doing that rhythm and then I will wrap up this video. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you found it useful. Um, <clears throat> as I said, this is this is just hope this is mainly aimed at my particular my private students because this is a song I always teach. But hopefully there's other people who've been able to find it useful as well. Um, it is a great song to do if you are a beginner or a relative beginner. This is a good song to go through because it's got those two different sections rhythmically to do, which are great fun to learn and are nice and challenging. And it uses a lot of the chords that you probably would have learned. So yeah, absolutely great song. In fact, it was the first song I was taught by my first guitar teacher 20 odd years ago. So hopefully you'll get the enjoyment out of it and it will kick, kick you on or spur you on, I should say, to playing guitar just like it did for me. And obviously, you know, as I say, I've been playing over 20 years now. So say so thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you found it useful. Hopefully if you're one of my private students, you found it useful and uh, you can let me know. Um, as usual, yeah, no, you know, I really appreciate it if you'd like the video, if you share the video, subscribe to the channel, comment on the video, all of those things really, really do help. That's why people always say it. People often say it in less explicit ways than me, but that is it basically. It genuinely really helps when people do that, okay? Um, so anyway, I'm waffling a bit now, so let's wrap this video up. Thanks for watching. I will see you again. Um, check out my channel for some more um, beginner videos or that kind of level videos. There's lots of songs on there and there'll be more and more going up because I'm trying to get these videos out for the songs that I teach to people of that level, basically. So hopefully you guys out there in the world of the internet can find them useful as well. And I'll see you again soon for some more cool songs on the guitar. Bye-bye.